Another piece of news from Amazon Accelerate, Buy With Prime. Uh, Amazon has announced significant enhancements to its Buy With Prime and Amazon multi-channel fulfillment services, aiming to improve the way sellers manage their operations and reach customers. Um, The biggest part of the upgrade is uh, integration with PayPal. So uh, you'll be able to buy with Prime uh, using PayPal. Um, So that's cool. And then uh, this has already kind of been out there, but you also are going to use buy with Prime with TikTok ads and then also with Google shopping ads. Mm -hmm. So they're putting buy with Prime all over the place. And they claim that now it serves over 200,000 U.S. merchants. And it says these enhancements are designed to help Amazon sellers increase their visibility and sales across multiple channels, not just on Amazon.com by leveraging Amazon's extensive fulfillment network. The announcement was made at Amazon Accelerate. So yeah, another article about basically Amazon uh, trying to kind of expand outside of its own world and uh, be, you know, everything and everywhere. There, uh, There's another company that has a, a, a slogan like that. I'm, I forget what it is, but be everything to everyone essentially is what Amazon is trying to do. The everything store. Yeah. I, I mean, like if you look at their model and you look at other people's models, I mean, even my Amazon guy, we're, we're an everything shop for everything. Amazon sellers. I mean, it, it is possible. Um, you know, I, I think, I think Amazon does a pretty good job at being a logistics company. I think they do a really good job at being a marketplace. They also happen to be an entertainment business. Although we could complain about how good or bad season two of, you know, the ring show is, but they spent a several billion dollars. So, um, you know, they, they're an entertainment company. They also are a music company. They also are a gaming company. They bought Twitch. So this, th- they are a juggernaut. If we were going to look at the four biggest, most influential companies in the United States, if not the world, Amazon would be my number one choice, 100%. I think a company like Apple is on that top four, but I also think Apple's the most likely to be pushed out of the top four. We could also make a case for Microsoft. It's got a little bit of a resurgence, uh, you know, team chat and other Excel products and its own AI adoption. Yeah. Um, who, who else would you guys put up there in the top five most influential companies? That's interesting. Oh, boy. Maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe Tesla? Facebook used to be, but yeah, I, think- I mean, Amazon, Google, Apple, Android. I mean, that's part of Google, but well, that's Google. Yeah. Android is, is pretty influential. Google um, needs to be on there for sure. Yeah. Uh, and I, I think, Microsoft I, still, because a, a majority of work is still done on windows computers. So could, could, could NVIDIA make a case? I mean, if they had the most valuable stock market in the entire world, surpassing Apple, um, you could make a case, but I don't, I don't know for sure. I mean, with AI, maybe they'll become, you know, inevitable with all of the AI processing yeah. power requirements mm-hmm. it could i mean nvidia is more of a back-end company right so most now. normal people are not gonna know nvidia necessarily um but yeah i mean they are they power pretty much everything with ai anything to do with graphics cards and processors and stuff like that now which it has been an amazing change uh from the not too distant past where Intel basically controlled everything. Um, And I was an NVIDIA person uh, from the beginnings. I was a fanboy of them back in the nineties, but uh, yeah, they are definitely influent, uh, have a big influence in the marketplace, but at the same time, Amazon is talking about competing with them now. So we'll see where that goes. Well, well. what will be interesting is like, remember, a month or two ago, there was the problem at the airports because Cloudflare, Cloudflare, something like that, pushed yeah. out a uh, update, and oops, it didn't work right, and so like they couldn't like get the planes out. Yeah, CrowdStrike, and, I think it was. CrowdStrike, okay, yep. Wh- whatever that company was, and that's not a company most people, including myself, had probably never heard of prior to that. How many yeah. other little companies like that have the potential to be super influential that we don't know about, mm-hmm. or this buy with Prime? If it messes up, does it just the button looks funny on the page or does it mess up like the whole system eventually? Right now, it probably just looks funny on the page, but eventually is it going to go to a part where it really messes things up? 
Yeah, I mean, there are a ton of companies, back-end companies that you don't really hear about. Um, for example, Apache. Uh, are you guys familiar with Apache, the web server? Oh, yeah, like a, yeah, way, way back-end, like a lot of the yeah. language in like servers and stuff is on Apache, right? Yeah, it's a web serving software. And essentially about 30 to 40% of all websites run on Apache software. So, mm. I mean, right there, if Apache went down, you know, 40% of your websites disappear from the internet. So that's a pretty influential company yeah. that most people have never heard of. And now it is an open source company, so you'll never see them on the stock market or in the big news and stuff unless something goes wrong, really. But, uh, you know, it's a very influential company. Definitely. Oh, Stephen, you're muted. Second time I've done that. All right. I was checking on the streams to see, you know, how they look on the other places. So I didn't want to have sound at the same time and cause a, you know, a loop. Have you guys used Buy With Prime? Uh, I've used it. I had a good experience. Have you guys used it? Maybe. <laughs> I don't think I have. No, I mean. Okay. When, when was the last time you bought something from a website? Not a, a third, uh, not a, like a third party platform like Last Amazon night. or Walmart. Huh? All right. All right. So My Kevin, wife does it a lot more than me. We get random packages from websites for stuff like for, uh, health related wife, stuff. And yeah, I had a like furniture that. delivery today. So yeah, that happens. Yeah. Um, but, but I personally have not bought anything outside of Amazon's ecosystem this year, maybe in the last mm. five years, not accounting oh, wow. for like food. Right. But right, like, right. Um, outside of that, I can't, I can't think of a single thing. Um, they make it so convenient. It's just yeah. so easy. And I'm probably, I know I'm overpaying like, and I just don't care like the convenience and, and the well, returns and all that, um, convert average conversion rate on Amazon, 10%. And on a website, it's between one and 2%. Mm -hmm. So like, why, you know, why do, would I want to type my credit card number into another platform? But with buy with prime, I would be tempted to buy from somebody's website if I cared about their brand. 